In today's episode, we're comparing Cisco CyberOps Associate Certification to CompTIA CYSA+. If you've been on the fence about which one of these certs you want to pursue, hopefully after you watch this video, you'll have a clear decision. So stay tuned. And don't forget to click like, subscribe, and that notification bell. Welcome to Debt Free and IT. I'm your host, Mike. This podcast is for anyone who's looking to get into the IT industry, whether it's for a career change or you're just interested, I think you come to the right place. In the world of IT, there's many paths that one could pursue. You have networking, cloud computing, software development, and also cybersecurity. That's just a few of the paths. And then within each of those paths, you have certifications that validate your skill set in a certain area along that path. When it comes to cybersecurity, getting a certification could mean you getting your start in the IT industry. So that certification could lead to your first job role. And also that certification could be used for career advancement and also increasing your skill set. And then the last thing is it could lead to more money as in a salary increase. Another plus is that the cybersecurity field is one of the fastest growing fields today. In short, that means that there's more jobs available than ever before, and there will continue to be jobs added on for people in the cybersecurity field. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the number of information security analyst jobs is expected to grow by 32% from 2022 to 2032. And that's all because of the increase in cyber attacks. The two cybersecurity certifications we're comparing today is the CyberOps Associate and the CYSA. So let's get to it. So starting with the CyberOps Associate, this certification is going to test the day-to-day -day tactical knowledge and skills security operations center teams need to detect and respond to cybersecurity threats. So this exam covers security concepts, security monitoring, host-based analysis, security policies, and procedures. So the CyberOps certification is an associate level certification, and then you can go into the professional level certification. But if you're looking for an entry-level certification that you may want to take before taking CyberOps, Take a look at the CCST cybersecurity certification. According to Cisco, this is the entry level cert that you should take before moving on to the CyberOps Associate. Look at the CYSA Plus certification. So this certification is short for cybersecurity analyst. This certification is also going to test the knowledge and skills required to detect and analyze indicators of malicious activity, understand threat intelligence, threat management, respond to attacks and vulnerabilities, also perform incident response and report and communicate related activity. So if you're looking to pursue this certification, CompTIA recommends that you have four years of hands-on experience or either a Network Plus or a Security Plus. So that's just a recommendation. If you don't have any of the above, you're still able to study for this exam, take the exam, and most likely probably pass the exam if you study hard enough. The domains covered during this exam is security operations, vulnerability management, incident response and management and reporting and communication. Sorry to interrupt this video. According to my YouTube analytics, 84% of my viewers are not subscribed. If I provided value to you in any one of my episodes and you're not subscribed, please consider doing so as it does help out the channel. If you're listening in your favorite podcasting app, please leave me a review and share this with a friend. Now back to the episode. So let's look at the job roles that each one of these certifications is going to prepare you for. So the CyberOps is going to prepare you for associate level job roles within security operations centers. The CYSA Plus is going to prepare you for roles such as incident response analyst, cybersecurity analyst, and threat hunter. And that's just to name a few. So according to their webpage, they have a lot of different jobs that this certification tries to prepare you for. So it has a, a wide range of cybersecurity roles. So even though the CyberOps doesn't list a lot of different job titles, I still feel like you're qualified for the same type of job roles as the CYSA Plus certification. It just seems like that CyberOps is more geared towards those SOC roles, those security operations center roles. But where most organizations, if they're looking for someone in cybersecurity, you could possibly still apply with that CyberOps certification because that is still a cybersecurity certification. And some organizations, as long as they see you have some form of cybersecurity knowledge along with a certification, they'll probably still accept this certification too, even though on the website, it doesn't list that this is the type of job that this certification is geared towards. So you may be wondering, what does these certification cost? 
So the CYBOX certification is roughly around $300 and the exam is 120 minutes. The CYSA Plus certification comes in at $404 and it doesn't list how long the exam is, but it did say that the exam is 85 questions. And those questions are more most likely multiple choice as with most of CompTIA's certifications. Their questions are usually multiple choice. Next, let's look at the skill level for someone to take these certifications. So each one of these certifications is listed as an intermediate certification. So that means that it's not an entry level, it's that next level up from entry level. So if you're looking for something more entry level, if you're looking at CompTIA, it's gonna be that Security Plus certification. And if you're looking at going the Cisco route, I would say the CCST cybersecurity because they do have that listed now as the entry level certification before moving on to this intermediate cyber ops associate certification. So the intermediate level certs, they're usually gonna be a little bit harder than any entry level certification. Uh, I was able to take the cyber ops certification before and to me, it was along the lines of a CCNA certification for networking. With cyber ops, it was being more information based than the CCNA because the CCNA, you do have a lot of labs and hands on that go along with it. But the CyberOps has just seemed to be more information based and remembering different rules and frameworks than with the uh, CCNA. So most of these certs, they're going to be a little bit harder. So a lot of times the entry level certifications, I know uh, the CCST, cybersecurity, with some of those certifications, they're, they're made to be more of a, uh, a stepping stone to lead you to one of these advanced certifications. So like I said, I can't vouch for the CYSA because I haven't actually taken it but I did take cyber ops as well as the CCST. And to me, I would put that cyber ops along the same level with the, how hard it was with along the lines of a CCNA for networking. It just didn't have a lot of uh, hands-on or anything like that during, during the test. But I do, will say that I think it is along the same level. So by it being listed as an intermediate certification, and that's probably the same thing that the CCNA is actually, because it is a certified Cisco networking associate, which means that it's pretty much intermediate level also. So I would say that these certifications, they're not going to be extremely easy. You will have to put some time into studying for them. And then, like I stated, I haven't had a chance to take the CYSA Plus certification, but just from looking at the domain topics, it looks like it tests on a little bit more domains than the cyber ops does. So it looks like it's going to have, um, it's a lot more information to, to kind of learn as than the cyber ops. But so I I would think that both of them would probably be on the same level. So with each of them being listed as an intermediate certification. So next, which one of these certifications is more recognized in the industry? So for me, it seems like the CYSA plus seems to be the most recognized. And my reason for this is I think because this certification is vendor neutral, where the Cisco cert seems to be more geared towards the SOC role. And then on top of that, it's a Cisco cert. So it's more leaned towards Cisco equipment. So it's not per se vendor neutral. Where the CYSA seems to be vendor neutral and it covers, seems like it covers a wider area of the cybersecurity realm. So to provide more insight on these certifications, I reached out and created a poll on my channel and asked which certification was more relevant between the two. And from from that poll, the results I got was 57% said that the CyberOps Associate was more relevant. 43% said that the CYSA Plus was more relevant. That poll, I had one comment that provided a little bit more insight on these certifications. That comment stated that the CyberOps offered better material and they personally enjoyed studying for it more, but it seems like the CYSA Plus is way more popular and recognized. So thanks for the comment and the insight. I also agree with you. Uh, when I put the two certifications into some popular job sites, I was getting way more hits for the CYSA Plus than I was getting for the Cyber Ops. So like I said, the CYSA Plus is vendor neutral. Cyber Ops is going to be more SOC analyst geared and also more Cisco geared. So I can see why you probably get more hits on the vendor neutral uh, certification. Both of these certs I think are valuable. I think it's all going to boil down to what specific role you're going for. If you're going towards more of a SOC role, a security operations center role, I would say you can't go wrong with the cyber ops. And then if you're trying to cover a wider area of cybersecurity, I would say that CYSA Plus is going to provide more benefits in that area. But then also remember, I still think that you could probably go for more roles with the cyber ops 
just like the CYSA Plus. I just think that at Cybox is particularly marketed towards that SOC analyst role. So that brings me to the end of this episode. If you found value in this episode and you're watching on YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, or Instagram, you can follow me at Debt Free and IT. If you have any questions or comments, you can email me at debtfreeandit at gmail.com or you can go to my website, debtfreeandit with Mike.com. Other than that, I'll see you next week. Peace. <laughs>